Hey, what's going on, fellas, ladies, um, all the victims out there, the individual targets, you know who you are. The um, reason I'm making this video is the, the series of videos I'm trying to make is to uh, help help you get through the uh, situation that you're going through, you know, being gang stalked and all that shit, and individual targets, psychological experiments, um, fucking health, you know, health threats, you know, um, Potential threats, you know, almost like a public enemy might feel like that, you know what I'm saying? But psychological warfare, things of that nature. But since this is like, you know, you being the individual yourself, it's not happening to everybody around you. It's only happening to a couple people. You know, you got picked out of the bunch for some reason, something you did, maybe something you didn't do. Maybe maybe you rubbed somebody the wrong way. Maybe somebody didn't like your fucking face or the way you smile one day. Maybe you didn't like a video you made on YouTube, you know, but that's how it all starts. Um, clearly, as you know, and if you heard about this before, it is real. It is happening to me. I have no reason to lie about it. Um, it depends how extreme the case can be. You start looking at yourself, thinking all the things you might have done in the past, things you're doing right now, things that may not seem like they, you know, things and reasons why they could have targeted you. But at the end of the day, just know that you really didn't do shit. You know, there's nothing you could have did that bad to deserve the kind of treatment that you're getting. Um, me, I, I don't have a car. Um, I used to have a ride and I got, I had to get rid of it because I couldn't afford the payments anymore. And, you uh, know, paying the rent and the place and everything like that. So I, I gave up the car. It was a piece of shit, didn't work. You know, gave me more troubles and it gave me more, you know, and got me, gave me more solutions. So that solution it became a problem. And, uh, with that being said, man, um, it's gonna be a series of events and things that happen to you. And you don't even know it was happening to you before, but it could have been happening to you for years and you didn't even realize it. It could have been really lightly. You know, you was on, you know, part one. It seemed like they start you off at a higher part first, but they didn't. They start you off at the, you know, at, at, at a mid stage or even advanced stage first, but you was probably started from the very beginning. I went on Google and Googled my name up. Actually, I Googled my apartment complex and uh, I Googled that before looking for something. And I saw pictures uh, of my old car that I used to have. I got rid of that car in April last year. So they probably have been gang stalking me for at least two, two, uh, two years now. I didn't realize it. I believe I suspect who could have been behind it. But you'll never know who's behind it. But the thing is, the person that's not in front of you, um, or the person that's not around you all the time, you know, it could be the, could be the leader. It could be somebody that you know, definitely caused this to happen to you. I know why uh, this probably could happen. I, I have been a violent person in the past. So I'm not proud of what I've done, but at the same time, no one deserves this kind of treatment because I'm not a bad person. Um, you know, we grow up in, in households and in, in environments of that nature that make us, you know, act out the way we do in our everyday life. So, um, truthfully, at the end of the day, I'm just a, a happy person. You hear that noise? Actually, there was no reason for that, and that's the part of gang stalking right there. Like people walk by you, right? And you don't even know, or people in the neighborhood never talk to you, start talking to you and shit like that. Making loud noises with a feet as you walk around. It's like, motherfucker, I get the point, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I done been through it all. I, I done been, uh, I done been, uh, it first starts off with car lights, uh, it actually starts off with people just kind of coming up to you, just talking to you randomly about stupid shit, you don't even realize it. It starts off with things like this. <laughs> and at three o'clock in the morning, you know. No matter what time it is, it's late, you're not paying attention, and you hear like a knock on the door, you hear ticks and, and dings and shit like that. Um, that people, those people are gang stalking, you're not just hearing that, no one just, no one just, no one, nobody just makes a noise like this and you just move on with your business. Uh, that's what the average person does, right? You hear a tick knocking on the door, that was weird, and you close the door, no one's out there. Um, you get brainwashed when you start really looking out for that, that, that ding, and you start trying to catch the ding. That's when you're fucked, that's when you're playing into their game, and that's what they want to happen. So when you hear that shit, just try to ignore it. Um, you will see people uh, go going to restaurants and places you go all the time. Um, they'll be there, you know. As soon as you get there, it can be empty, and all of a sudden, everybody and their mom will be there. Uh, they'll get kids on you. Kids will look at you in some kind of way. Uh, they stare at you, funny. Everyone will point at you, talk things, bad things about you that you didn't even do. You go around thinking, what did I do? Did I do something? I was drunk. I don't remember. No, you didn't. You probably didn't do anything. Uh, you could have lashed out at somebody that was all in your face, you know, it's like a normal human being, as a human being, someone gets closed up to you, you're going to want to defend yourself, and that's what happens, and they can not like that, and oh, you know what, up the level on them, 
I've had cars, uh, cars will take their high beams and they'll shine them in your face uh, all day. They'll try to make you crash when you're driving a car. Um, they'll they'll uh, stage accidents in front of you. Like you'll hear sirens, you'll see sirens and firemen and cops in front of your house and they'll never do anything to you because uh, they'll act like they're arresting somebody else or they'll act like they're talking to someone that looks like you. Believe that, he would look like you, dress like you, he would wear your hat like you, he'd be black like you, he'd be white like you, Spanish like you. He'll be, he'll be uh, any, any race, Asian, whatever. Any religious group that you're with. People that you might say something bad about. Um, they might be standing around looking at you one day because uh, you are on 24-hour surveillance, 24-7. Seven days a motherfucking week. They're watching me. They're watching me right now. This camera is hacked. And um, that's the point of this video. I'm making a video with a hacked camera because my camera doesn't look as good. It's uh, got... Uh, HD quality and shit like that, and this phone's a it's a it's a Go phone from uh, Walmart. I bought for 50 bucks, and I had this phone five times, and I know the camera doesn't like this. I'm hacked. Your phone will shine certain lights. Uh, you're you're being watched on your phone. Depends when they want to cut it on, cut it off. Now, when you cut on cameras, usually I notice that this, the uh, all the all the ruckus kind of stops. People that used to be your friends won't really be your friends anymore. People that were associates that you thought were cool, they're not cool anymore because they all join your side and go against you. People say bad things about what you do and say that, you know, say you do drugs, you, you smoke things, or you, you did something you're not proud of. And people will say you're crazy and they'll talk shit about you. And they'll believe you because they don't know you that well. Don't trust him. He's not that good of a person. He looks like he's good, but he's not. They'll, don't believe him, you know, because they're brainwashed just, just as much. And um, they'll try to even, um, I, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. It gets really bad. Uh, uh, I lost my, almost losing my relationship with my girlfriend. I mean, it turned it terrible, you know. You know, and uh, you lose friends. People don't want to be around you as much anymore because they think you're crazy. But you're not crazy. Just remember that. And people are on your side. I'm here to support you as well as other people as well. Um, they'll mess with you when you're watching music videos. Uh, you'll watch a video, the video will skip and go back to the middle of the video. Um, your, your phone will freeze up on you when you're trying to do something. Don't try to stop them. Don't, don't try to rehack them. They have my computer to everything. And then they put it back. But they took my windows. They'll fuck with your head, man. They'll make, it, they'll make uh, people who are around you. They'll, they'll, they'll recruit them. And if they're weak, they'll accept it. And if you do accept the challenge of, of, of being a part of the victim, you're weak too. I don't give a fuck how much money they offer you. This is never worth it. Uh, I had half of Tucson uh, follow me. You know, you'll, you'll walk down the street. I went to a um, Circle K, or you go to 7-Eleven, depending on where you are. It's the same corner store as a chain. You'll go there, and um, you'll walk into the convenience store. You'll go buy a drink. And uh, as soon as you ask for it, he'll already know what you want before you get there. I was like, I, I usually smoke Black and Mild Casinos, and I'll go up there. Let me get a Black and Mild Casino. He's like, oh, just on time, buddy. Gave me the casino. And I was like, that's kind of odd. And... Uh, He's like, who's expecting you? You know what I mean? He's like, they make slick comments like that. They'll talk about things that, how would they know? You understand? But they don't know the things because someone else told them. If someone is going around saying something about you that, that only that person would know or only you would know, and then personally, you know, they'll go and tell that person. Um, I get followed everywhere I go. Uh, people who move into this complex are trying to move me out, too. Um, right now, I'm sitting here with no power and no lights because I don't have the money to pay for it. Um, I got my job. People at my job um, dress like my girlfriend. And uh, made me think my girlfriend was uh, the leader of it. So I messed up my relationship a lot. Um, a girl today, I rode the bus this morning. I was outside all night because I mean, my girlfriend got into an argument once again, you know, because of, of the shit that's going on, you know. Uh, I feel like she's hacking my computer because she's the only person around me. But it, chances are people are sneaking in the house and doing it for her while she's sleeping and while she's not paying attention. And because of her, her state of mind, she's been, she's been a victim as well. She doesn't really know how to respond to me the proper way, so I always think she's involved, you know. Make it look like she's cheating on you. Make, make it look like a lot of things are going on. Everyone's pointing at you, pointing their fingers at you. People will try to poison you. Um, yes, they will, they will, uh, don't, if they give you food, uh, just don't accept it politely. Um, make your own food, watch your stuff. Uh, don't leave your door open. They will walk into your door, take stuff, they'll distract you. Try to stay away from the distractions as best you can. Actually, honestly, I don't even let, like, let's say, I got distracted just now about five minutes ago before I made this video. Seen the lady I talked to. I usually try to not talk to her a lot. She's probably been gang stalking me for a while as well. Some people will give you hints. You know, she was trying to tell me how to get out of it. You know, I just see my neighbor is now. And, um, you know, okay. people around you just don't like you and shit. That's just the way it is. So, but uh, yeah, she tried to give me hints. And you know, people who like you will tell you things. You know, small. They can never tell you the truth, but they'll just tell you. You know, you might fall asleep. You know, I'm just, I was so tired today. I fell asleep on the bathroom. I fell asleep in my bed. I passed out because I believe I was drugged with sleeping sleeping medication. 
I was shot up with needles while I was sleeping with drugs. Um, my arm was about to almost like it looked like it was about to explode. My left arm was bigger than my right, which is pretty pretty big arm, you know what I'm saying, compared to my left. And um, I didn't go to the hospital. And if you do go to the hospital, they look at you like you're nuts. And uh, they probably won't even help you, or it'll take a very long time to help you. Um, you know, just don't 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 lash out on people. Don't get mean. Don't get rude. Uh, just try to stay positive, man. Um, and I know it might scare you about the poison thing. Yes, you will get poisoned, possibly. Uh, I called the ambulance because I was poisoned, and um, somehow I still lived. The poison is just enough that you almost feel like you're gonna die, but you're not. So um, lock your door every time you walk away from it. You know, I mean, you know. Honestly, I don't even do that. I don't even care. I just make sure I bring like drinks with you, things that are important with you. Bring it. They won't steal shit usually. They'll just, uh, they'll, they'll just misplace stuff. They'll do things like you know, take it for breeze bottle. I'll sit right there and they'll move it over there. You know, it wasn't there. Don't try to mark the spot and pay attention to it too much because then it's gonna drive you nuts. Um, people they got they got pretty aggressive to me this morning. I was taking a shower and they were um, acting like they was gonna open my door. Yeah, it's illegal. Um, it's uh, it's 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 not human. It's humane actually, and it's very fucked up. It's stressful, but you just gotta live your life. Don't change your personality, who you are. And I know I look probably stressed. You're like bullshit, nigga. Look at you. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just neutral about it. I don't, I don't yell at people no more. I just say hello. They look friendly. A lot of people don't like you. You know, they don't like you. Your neighbors talk to you in ways they never talked to you before. Like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Um, he was he was sending a message to me one time. He said, and I'm really smart. You have to be. Usually you get on this shit because you have some kind of mental health issue or you know, you're know you a threat to society or if you rub someone the wrong way. Or you could just be really smart and then they can, uh, they'll try to test you out and see how much you can psychologically deal with it. It's an experiment. It's fucked up. You are a human experiment. And uh, they see how much pain you can endure. The fact that I didn't go to the hospital, they'll see if you snitch. Your tattletale, you know, um, the doctor came, the cops came, and, I, and the, uh, every, one of the, um, every one of the ambulances had uh, watches on them. There's a spy watch. I didn't ask spy watches, and I just I don't know how I figured it out, but the watch would do like it would reflect off the wall. And I was like, holy shit, this watch is a fucking, it's a, it's a fucking camera. So I do I gave the watch back to my girls for my birthday present, and they completely destroyed my birthday by the way. I kept People, you know, leave stuff at your house, be kind. The guy left all his clothes in my house and I ain't seen him in weeks. They'll send messages to you. That, that right there is a message. Uh, I'm moving in and you're gonna lose this. When you lose this spot, I'm moving into this place. Some, I think people want me out of here because it, it's simply because they want where I live, because of my view, which is the dumbest shit. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty beautiful view, but who, like really, man, take the view, motherfucker. I don't care. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's beautiful out here no matter what, you know? And um, you can't do nothing to me to make me any less stronger. And it can't do anything to you to make you any less stronger than who you are. Don't change your personality. If you're goofy, just be goofy. If you're happy, just be happy. If you're crazy, just be crazy. If you're lazy, just be lazy. But um, don't change for them. Change for yourself, no matter what they do. Don't give them what they want. They want you to look crazy. They want you to fight them. They want you to lash out. They want you to look stupid. They want you to, to hurt somebody. You think, you think those motherfuckers that go around shooting up clubs, they think that was an accident? They've been doing this shit for a long time, man. People lose their mind and go crazy. Don't do that. Don't feed into it because nobody else deserves that. Not everyone's a victim. I mean, not, everyone, not everyone's a part of it. And people that are a part of it don't even mean to do it half of the time. Someone just goes over to him and gives him five bucks. Hey, just uh, watch that kid. You guys want to make some money? Stare at that kid over there. We're playing a game with him. But it's not. what's going to seem like a game to them, it's not a game to you. You know, it happens to you every day. I have a kid that's like, like church people come up to my like just stand by my house and pull out their phones and start, you know, putting this camera on me, man. You look up things on Google to try to find out who you are. Like, what did I do? And then you, you'll Google yourself and it'll be like laugh out loud because you'll see nothing of yourself. Nothing even exists of you. You're nobody. You don't exist because you're on a proxy server and you're hacked and everything is not real. You're on their server and they're just fucking with you. You can go on websites where you uh, your Facebook will be hacked. I can't even get into my Facebook because they keep hacking my shit. I try to speak out, they won't let me speak out. 
and that's the life I live right now. It's been happening to me for years. Um, it's been getting progressively worse. Um, they, 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 like I said, they break into my house. You know, um, they don't want me to have friends. They know everything I'm doing before I do it. Can't even, uh, can't even do nothing uh, privately because I'm being watched. I think there's cameras in my house too. And invasion of privacy. That's what it is. Um, uh, I try to fight for my constitutional rights. I'm gonna do whatever I can. And I'm gonna speak out. I'm not gonna be scared anymore. I'm not gonna run away or hide from the public. I know it's been a long time since you guys seen me, but things been hard, you know, and I'm trying to make them better. I think my heart has been beating kind of fucked up because I feel like I'm just always getting some kind of poison. They they they, they put microwave. Um, they put like a like through microwave and, and you know through things in your house. Uh, they'll, they'll try to kill you that way, you know. The vents will come on and gas you and your, your, your girlfriend or whoever will leave whoever you're with will, hey, I gotta go and next you know air is blowing in your house and it's not really air it's like shit that make you pass out sick I'm gonna close this video I don't really feel all that well as you can I'm sweating like a fucking <laughs> looking like a honey baked ham man just, just sweating and shit in the oven you know my life um I think the goal is to get me out of the neighborhood. I don't, you know, like I said, this is stupid shit. Uh, maybe because I yell a lot. You know, my neighbor always would always kind of. I started thinking about this shit. You look back at things, you like, you'd always yell and make these loud outbursts. And that was the key was to get me to stop yelling. They didn't like the activities I was doing. Maybe they didn't like the woman I was bringing over here. You know, back in the time. Maybe they didn't like my girl. You know, I know she wasn't always like this. I know she became it. No matter how many times they lie to you. And I know it's going to hurt her heart to hear that. And I, maybe I'm wrong. And I hope I am wrong. And I apologize. I'm sorry that this thing destroyed who we were as people. But you have to understand that it's hard for me to live this way and live with you. And, you know, I see I see you doing things, you know, and I'm almost about to fall asleep. You know, you see people do things to you and you're not crazy. I'm not crazy. Somebody broke into my house and they, they fucking, they poked me with a fucking needle, man. Like, and I almost fucking died, man. You know, shot me over to methamphetamine. I'll show you the scars on Look at this shit. I never had those before. These are these are fucking uh, wounds from being like pulp with needles, man. Look at that. That's from plasma, but there's like there's inserts in the side where you can tell they did uh, more shit. They mainly mess with my left arm a lot. They poke me really good in my, in my hands, man. They're really good, like sophisticated pokes in the hand. I wake up with scratches and cuts and <sighs> handprints on like places. And I, I was drugged for like, I believe they put me in anesthesia at one time. I was knocked out for like 15, 16 hours, you know, and they drugged and had a good time with me. Uh, I had a lump in my arm like the size of a fucking golf ball and it just dispersed and I, I was high as hell. And I was on the verge of, I thought I was gonna die. And I knocked on people's doors and they wouldn't answer them. They just want you to die. That's what they want. You know, they want you to kill yourself, but don't feed them. I will never kill myself. Um, stop wasting your time, or you can keep playing with mine. But I'm gonna stay who I am. And if, understand if I ever die, it's not because of uh, natural causes, or it's not because of suicide. And if it is natural causes, you can either believe it or you don't. If it's a drug overdose, I, unlikely. My name is uh, Jamal Roberts, Tristan Jamal, AKA J Ball. <laughs> You're watching J Ball 2K TV. I am a TI, target individual, public enemy, enemy of the state, enemy of the government, human experiment, psychological. Uh, project as you may keep your head up baby don't worry about the knocks on the door don't worry about random people calling you just smile just be happy just be who you are try to live your life at least fake it till you make it but don't let them think you're crazy and don't ever off yourself let them do it first let them be that let them be the psychological fucking psychiatric patients that they, they want you to be you guys take it easy Keep checking out my channel. Sorry, it's been a while.